เดียว And I would just like to put the disclaimer screen up really quickly, and then we can jump right into our class together. Great, thank you so much for your patience on that. Really appreciate it. All right, I hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Melissa. And I'll be guiding you through chair yoga. We will do a half hour practice today. So as we do chair yoga, you're going to need a chair. And I really love having a chair that doesn't have arms. So folding chairs are great or any chair that doesn't have arms are great. But if you are at a work chair and it has arms, that's okay. We'll just kind of work around it. Remember to listen to your body through the practice today. So, you know, yoga is never supposed to hurt. So we all have different bodies. We've all been through different things. So if any of the stretches don't work for you, just keep them, come on out and modify them. Great. So let's get started. We will start in seated. We'll do a little centering, a little bit of mindfulness just to kind of release the day so far and to drop into the moment. So you may want to skew more towards the edge of your seat. This will help you to elongate your spine. So sometimes when we're sitting towards the back of the seat, we can kind of round and slouch a little bit. And then we, when we sit more towards the edge of your seat, it just helps to lengthen the spine just a bit more. We'll give ourselves a moment to release the shoulders. So we take your shoulders up to the ears. We'll create a large circle and then relax your shoulders as you exhale. Breathe in, let's take the shoulders up back and down. And then one more time, let's inhale and exhale. And then gently relax in your shoulders, close your eyes, bringing some mindfulness into the moment, just noticing the feet grounded down and planted. Feel your knees in line with your heels, knees in line with your hips. Feel that the shoulders are over your hips. Feel your core engaged, so feel your tailbone tuck, navel back and up to the spine a little bit. Relax your shoulders away from the ears. Create a neutral chin down to the earth. And then lengthen the back of your neck. Reach out to the crown of your head. And then giving yourself an opportunity to drop in and connect to the rise and the fall of your breath. Lengthening as you inhale. Lengthening as you exhale. And then maybe encouraging your exhale to be a little bit longer than the inhale. And then breathing into your stomach, feel your navel rise on the in-breath and fall on the out-breath. Feel your ribs expand on the in-breath and contract on the out-breath. And then feel your chest rise on inhale and then chest fall on exhale. And knowing each time that you breathe, you bring life, you bring oxygen to all of the cells throughout your body. And let's take a moment to gently release the neck, relaxing your right hand down. You can grab onto the side of your chair. We'll sweep our left hand up and over. Reach for the right side of your head. Take a breath to lengthen. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And not moving with force on this stretch. It's a very gentle suggestion of the ear to the shoulder. Back to center. Left hand lowers, right hand rises. Full breath in. Lengthen and soften. And then just notice if the stretch feels very similar on this side of your neck to the first side of the neck that you worked on. 
gently releasing. We'll come back to neutral. Let's take our right hand to our left knee. Left hand feet up and over. Find a side stretch here. Ground into that left sitting bone. Lengthen your side body, your arm, your fingertips. Come back to center. Hand at the knee. Let's take our left hand to the right knee so arms are crossed. And chin to chest as you breathe out. And then releasing. Let's take, keep our left hand where it is. We'll take our right hand up and over. Full breath in. Giving this nice lateral stretch for your spine. So it's always important to move your spine six different ways each day, they say. Keep your spine nice and healthy and strong. We'll come back and up to center. Let's take our right hand to our left knee. So arms are crossed opposite this time. We'll take our chin to our chest and then round through your back. Come back and through to center. Hands will sweep to the sky. Full breath in here, hands together. Exhale, hands to your heart. Full breath in, let's reach those hands to the sky. And then exhale. Release three more times with your breath. Let's take the hands of the heart space and circle in the other direction. So we'll take our fingertips to the sky. Hands will sweep out and around. Full breath in and out. Let's go three more times here. Hands release behind your body. Reach for opposite elbows here. So we'll just take our right hand for our left elbow and then left hand for the right elbow. And this gives us a bit of a shoulder stretch and helps us to open the chest and the heart a little bit. So I'm sure we all find ourselves kind of rounding, you know, looking at our phones or at the computer. So a stretch like this is just really great to incorporate into the work day. Just to lengthen those muscles in the chest there and just open up those shoulders a little bit. So we're just gonna notice if your right hand is on top or your left hand is on top. And then we'll just change up the grip here. We're just gonna switch the arm so that opposite hand is on top and opposite hand is on the bottom. And this one just might feel a little unnatural, but it's so good to always do this. Every time we take little stretches like this, we always wanna change up and do the other side, making sure the body stays even and aligned. Great. Let's take our hands onto our shoulder. We'll take our elbows up back and down. Great, let's begin to gently release the arm. Let's take the arms up to 90 degree angle in front of the body. We are gonna open up the hands, create almost like a little back bend. And then we'll do a rounding of the back and we will draw our hands together as you exhale. Heart floats forward, let's open the chest and the heart. Exhale, let yourself round. And then move with your breath here for a moment. Lengthen as you inhale. Lengthen as you exhale. As you inhale, try to relax your shoulders from your ears. We'll create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. And then on the exhale, really round your back. Imagine creating space between the shoulder blades. Let's come to a neutral spine. Hands reach up, full breath in. Release your hands off towards the right. Bringing yourself into a seated spinal twist. We'll come back on through the center, hands reach up, stretch up. Exhale, release to the other side. And then let's just go side to side here for a moment. 
So earlier I mentioned the six movements of the spine. So we see that our spine moves six different ways and that if you move the spine six different ways every day, it just can help to keep the spine strong and flexible and healthy. So those movements are the movements we're doing right now. This is a twisting side to side. The other movement is the movement that we just did where we were doing a little rounding of the back and then we we're doing the opening of the heart. So that's a forward and the backward movement. And then the other movement is the lateral side stretch. So moving one side and then the other side. So yeah, maybe those are little, little tips you can incorporate into the day today. Especially if the back is a little fussy or the neck is a little fussy, it can definitely help out the neck as well. Let's come back to neutral. We'll take our hands at heart space into prayer. Take a full breath in here. This time, let's just take our index and our thumb to touch. We're just gonna kind of touch them together and then we will release our hands down. Breathe in, let's take those hands up and out. Great, well gently release those hands when you're ready. Take your feet nice and wide and we will do a little bit of windshield wipe of the knees. So if you have your arms on the chair, you might have to scoot more towards the edge of your seat or if it's super easy just to grab a chair that doesn't have arms, you might wanna do that. The knees will be really wide and we are just gonna do a little thing, windshield wiping the knees one side to the next. You can always grab onto the chair if you need to. We're just gonna drop the knees to one side and then drop the knees to the other side. So this one is great for your legs, your hips, and your low back and this can also get into the front of the hip a bit those hip flexors so as and then let's take a minute to pause we will drop our knees to the right give yourself this opportunity to pause here and we are going to aim to create 90 degree angle in the legs so you'll just want your right leg to line up for 90 degree angle and then your back leg to line up for a 90 degree angle and then feel free to hold onto the chair if you'd like you can always hold on to this and staying here, option to take your hands to the sky as you breathe in. And try to feel that your hips and your shoulders are squaring forward. Breathing in and then breathing out. Let's grab back onto the chair. We'll try crescent warrior this time. So for this one, you'll try to straighten your leg out. And this is going to give you a really nice quad stretch and get into the hip flexor and the psoas and just gonna be really good for your back and your hips and your legs. Hold onto the chair if you'd like. Hands can reach the sky if you'd like as well. Feel the arms really active. Feel the arms frame the ears. Fingers are active. Reach, stretch through your fingertips. Let's begin to gently release. You can hop your foot off towards the left a little bit more. And we'll try a warrior one pose. So it might be hard to see, I kind of just the uh, um, screen there, but you're going to have your back foot at the 45 degree angle. So you're gonna have your toes kind of aiming to where a corner of a room would typically be. And you can always hop this foot off towards the left even more if it's feeling a little bit more challenging. The more this left foot is to the right, the harder it's gonna be, but the more you hop it to the left, the easier it will be. And Hands can grab right onto your chair. You may wanna take your hands to the sky. And this one is going to give you that really great quad stretch and nice hip flexor stretch. And we're gonna get into our calf and our hamstring. And then we'll just breathe here for a moment. And then coming into warrior two. So similar-ish legs, but we're going to try to square ourselves forward here. So as I say forward, I mean the left side of the room. And this one is our front leg is bent at that 90 degree angle. And then our back leg, this left leg, you can bend it to the left a bit more. And if you want more challenge, you're gonna take your left foot and shift it to the right. Just have your foot try to be straight with the back edge of the room. We don't want that leg at any angle. We definitely don't want our toes to point away from us. Try to square your hips and your shoulders forward here and then one hand reaches forward and one hand reaches back this is our warrior two stretch this is a great hip opener you can relax your shoulders from your ears 
We'll try to create a little space here between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder breeze moving down your back. Reverse, float the front hand up and back. And then on this one, your back hand can just kind of glide on your back leg. Come on through. We're gonna take a lateral angle from here. If you can take your right arm onto your right leg. Take your left hand through the sky. You can also bring your arm framing your ear and you can also wrap your arm around your low back and then reach for the other hip crease. And then engaging the core, let's take ourselves back. I'm sure we'll do a little reset here to where you too. Then you can release the arms. We'll do a little reset on the legs and then let's go back to windshield wiping the knees to the right and the left. We're just gonna shift to the right and then we'll just shift off towards the left. Great, let's begin to drop those knees off towards the left. And this is where we will line up that left leg. So heel in line with knee, knee in line with hip. And then grabbing onto your chair, we'll just let that knee relax down, knee in line with hip and breathe here. Just kind of let that leg hang heavy. If it touches the ground, that's great. If it doesn't touch the ground, that's okay too. You're just gonna kind of let gravity open up that hip flexor and so on. So hands can reach to the sky if you'd like. We will take a nice deep breath here. You can always grab onto that chair for a little support. And breathe. Let's breathe into our stomach, our ribs, our chest, and then releasing from the chest, from the ribs, and from the stomach. Hands can come down, and we'll try crossing. So this one is where we just straighten out that leg behind us. You will want to be on the toes of your left, your right foot. And you're going to want your right foot to be lifted. So the majority of the foot is off of the ground, but the toes are going to be on the ground. Grab onto your chair, hands to the sky as you inhale, square your hips and your shoulders forward, breathe in and breathe out. And then we'll release, hands come down, we'll take our right foot off towards the right a bit more, so this leg can be more at that angle. And then our back toes will be turned up the mat at that 45 degree angle. Hips and shoulders square forward. Hands can move to the sky as you inhale. Try to breathe in and out through the nose. That really helps to keep your mind, your body calm, relaxed and at ease. Let's begin to open that one up. We'll take a warrior two pulse. So shifting your body forward. And then you will just try to have this back leg. It can be at that angle. And then you'll try to have your back foot straight. So it lines up with the edge of the room. Your front knee is bent. And hands can reach forward and back here. So what can be really common is to be reaching forward too much. So just try to draw your shoulders over your hips. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in, breathe out. Reverse, we'll come up and come back. Back to center, lowering the arm down. Hand reaches up if you'd like. Breathe in and breathe out here. So lateral angle is a really nice stretch for creating a little opening in the body. So you can just open the chest and the heart and we get a really good side stretch here in the body. And then let's come back and up. We'll do a reset to warrior two and we can release those arms. Windshield bite the legs side to side. So just drop them to the right and then drop them off to the left. Great, let's come on up to stand when you're ready. And as you kind of, let's see our chair as well. So what we'll do is we're gonna access the seat of the chair. So you'll just get, wanna readjust so that you can use the seat here. And as we square up to the chair, take your feet in line with your hips, 
have your feet running straight forward. Take a full breath in here, hands will reach up. Exhale, fold yourself down, bring your hands onto the seat, and then let's shake out the legs a little bit here. We'll bend one knee and we'll bend the other knee. Relax your head, yes, and relax your head, no. And this is just a nice forward fold. And I really love using the chair. This is gonna help to open up the hamstrings and the calves, release your back if it's feeling a little tender. We'll come into stillness here. Let's walk our hands to the right. So this will bring us into a nice little side stretch. Try to feel grounded through both of your feet, inside and outside. Come back to center, come to the other side. Let's reach and stretch from the waist, lengthen the side body, the arm, fingertips. Come back on through to center. Take a bend in the knees if that's needed. We'll work a little bit of cat and dog stretch. So for this one, you can lower your stomach down. You can lift up through your heart. Do a little bit of a rounding of your spine. Lower your stomach, lift up through your heart. Tailbone will lower. Crown of the head will lower. And then just flowing through cat and dog stretch for a moment. Lengthen as you inhale. Lengthen as you exhale. As you inhale, let your shoulders relax from your ears. We'll create that space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades moving down your back. Great. Let's come to a neutral spine here. We will lower the stomach down, lift up through your heart. Little round of the spine to come on up to stand. Take a full breath in. Hands reach and set to the sky. Draw your hands at your heart space as you exhale. Let's come to the other side of the chair. And if you have a chair that has wheels, you definitely want to make sure that the wheels are locked. And we're just going to use the chair to create a little back bend here. So you're going to grab onto the back of your chair. You can stay right here. So this one will be a really nice one where you can just kind of go step by step, feel what feels right for you. If you wanted more of a stretch, you can walk our feet away from the chair, draw your hips forward, maybe tuck your chin down, maybe relax your head back. And then again, you can walk those feet out even more if you wanted more stretch. And this will just create that really nice back bend. Heart opens, chest opens. Inhale and exhale. Maybe just do a little scan here. Notice where you're holding on to tension. And then with each exhale, try to let that tension go. Let's bring our feet in. So you can just do a little walk in. Come into a neutral spine. Let's take a shoulder roll here. We'll take our shoulders up. We'll relax them back and then take them down. Let's take a little bit of a sun salutation A, a mini sun salutation A with the breath. So we'll just square ourselves up to our chair seat. Take your hands to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Lower your stomach down, lift up through your heart. We'll do a little round of the spine and then come on up to stand. Full breath in, hands at heart, full breath out. Hands will sweep up, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Lower your stomach down, lift up through your heart. Little rounding of the spine to come on up to stand, full breath in. Hands at heart, full breath out. Take one more, hands reach up, breathe in. Hold yourself down, breathe out. Lower your stomach, lift through your heart. Round of the spine to slow down up to stand, hands to the sky, breathe in. Hands at your heart, breathe out. Let's take our hands right on up to the sky. We'll take a nice full breath in here. Fingers will interlock. We'll press our palms right on up to the sky. Lengthen here and release your hands to the right. Land in that side stretch. Roll your left shoulder back. Right shoulder under, heart is shining to the sky. Come back to center. Let's realign here. We'll lengthen, release to the left. 
feel grounded through both of the feet inside and outside of each foot. Come back to center. Let's release the hands behind the body. Fingers will interlock, palms will touch. And imagine that you could squeeze a pencil between the shoulder blades. So you could stay standing up and then option to hinge up the hips and fold down if you wanted. You can come down to a fold. Try to relax the fronts of your shoulders and just notice if that helps you move deeper into the shoulder stretch. Hands can relax into your low back. Hands can relax down towards the ground and then just flowing up through the spine one vertebrae at a time. Let's take our shoulders up, back and down. And then we'll work a little bit with balance. And if you feel like the balance is really challenging for you, you can always head to the side of your chair so that you could grab onto the top there. And that can just be just a really nice support, just knowing that it's there and kind of lifting the leg for a minute or two. And just that can be nice little training wheels as we start. So let's start with the quad stretch. Your right hand will reach for your right foot and you can grab on the outside of your foot. And if you wanted a deeper shoulder stretch, you can grab on the inside of the foot. You can just kind of check in what you'd like. It's nice having the chair there, so feel free to grab onto it. You can also maybe take your hand at half prayer at the heart space. And we're just gonna feel that foot pulling into the body a little bit. This is our quad stretch, hip flexor and psoas stretch. And we'll just breathe. It's always really important to do our quad stretches when we're sitting down, when we're driving, on the couch, at the desk. The quad shortens and the hamstrings lengthen. So this is a really good pose to do just to kind of bring more balance into the body. And then we can release that one. Plant your foot down. Last foot rises when you're ready. And you can always grab onto the chair if you can shift the chair around. And we'll breathe here. So our trick with balancing is to find one spot to focus your concentration, to focus your awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eyes shift at all. Great, and then we'll release that one. Let's take eagle. So again, feel free to grab onto your chair. Right leg comes up and over, so your toes can be on the ground. Maybe your leg is lifted. Maybe you try for a wrap here. And then right arm is under. So for the wrap, you could take your, you could reach for opposite shoulders. You could brush the backs of your hands together. You can wrap your arms up and you can wrap your hands up. So finding that one spot to focus on, one spot to focus your concentration, to focus your awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eyes shift at all. Unwrap arms, unwrap legs. Let's take left leg up and over, left arm under. And then just feeling really grounded through all the parts of your right foot. Press through the inside and outside. Notice your body's natural tendency if you tend to roll in or tend to roll out. And then we'll release. Unwrap the arms, unwrap the legs. Let's take a shoulder roll, breathe in and breathe out. Let's come back to seated. So you can grab your chair and that comfortable seated position. Let your eyes close here for a moment. Scoot to the edge of your seat. And just notice how you feel. Observe your mind and your body in the moment. Feel your mind relax. Calm at ease. Feel your body aligned and balanced. Any tension that you came to class with, just feel how that's released with breath and with movement. Letting the eyes open when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining today. It's so good to be here with you all. I hope you have a great day. And if you're available tomorrow, we're gonna to try an energizing yoga. It's Saturday at 8.30, so it'll just be a half an hour. It'll be yoga on the yoga mat. And it'll just be a nice way just to get yourself moving in the morning and to start the weekend off right. So I'd love if you can join us. See you soon. Thank you, I'm gonna to go tomorrow.
Oh, good. That'll be awesome to see you. Thanks, Julia. Okay, thanks, Melissa. You're welcome, Dave.